Uh, can you give us a, a brief camp update? What are your thoughts on uh, the wide receivers so far? Uh, today was probably our, our, our best overall day. Energy-wise, I, I thought we could have came out a little bit harder. At the end of the day, with what we're doing, they just got to they just got to make the small plays. And I think today uh, some people were maybe surprised about guys making plays the way they were, but at the, they were just catching the ball. And if, if you just make a small play, it leads to big plays. Uh, we noticed a, a visible difference in last week versus this week as far as the play of the wide receivers making yeah. those small plays. Yeah. Uh, is there something you said, or is it just consistency? It's all the people on the sideline. They've been, they've been helping them out. No, uh, you know, they haven't played football in a while. You know, they didn't go to a bowl game. It's it's um, uh, it's been what three or four months since since the last time they've been out here in a, in a organized uh, in an organized activity. So it, it does take a little bit of time to dust the ru to dust the rust off. But uh, we're getting better. We got better. We still got a long way to go. At the end of the day, we we got a lot of unproven guys, and uh, this will be a great opportunity for guys like Brian Allen, for guys like uh, Dominic Hatfield, for guys like. Uh, uh, Andre Lewis, guys that uh, that that really haven't proven anything. Not in a not in a bad way. They just have haven't ca caught many balls. So this will be a great opportunity for them to show what they can do. Coach Whittingham singled out Brian Allen as one of the standouts so far. Uh, according to you, who who do you think is leading that pack as far as the younger wide receivers? Uh, you know, BA's doing pretty well. Uh, Delshawn's probably. Uh, been the most consistent. We, you know, we chart catches, we chart explosive, we chart uh, missed assignments every day, and uh, Del Sean is leading. Uh, besides uh, fan favorite Kenny Scott, uh, he's he's number two in the catch chart, but he's number one in explosives and he's number one with the least amount of missed assignments. And he had a couple big plays today. Tell us about Drez Anderson. I, I really like, Drez has a lot of tools. He really does. Uh, uh, um, we just got to uh, make him use them to the best of his ability. He's he's extremely fast. He has pretty good hands. He runs good routes. He's he's he 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 makes pretty good. Uh, he's pretty good out of the break. We just got to use all of his talents to the best of his ability. Uh, final question: uh, Your thoughts on Delshawn? His progress that he's made. Del, you know, Delshawn has made. You know, I, the the jury's still out. Um, I, I think the biggest. Uh, thing for Delshawn is going to be himself. Um, the, the difference between average and, and good and good and great is, is 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 your mind, your mental toughness, and and I think that's something with Delshawn that's always been in question. But so far, I mean, he came out today a little bang, banged up or a little tired, and he fought through it. So that was good to see. Uh, he, he he can be physical when he. Oh, I thought somebody's about to hit me. Sorry. <laughs> Erase that. Um, and he fought through it today. I, I, I really, he he fought through it, so that was really good to see.